Hello, this is Yami, your Latina Next Door. Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be using trash to create treasures. And I'm really excited because I've got several DIYs that I want to share with you guys and I can't wait to see which one turns out to be your favorite. So for my first trash to treasure, I am using these leftover leaves from my floral bushes that I used to create my Valentine's topiary and wreath. I will also be using some black poster board that my husband had used for a project and this is what was left over. Now before I did anything with those, I got some poplar boards that I get from Home Depot. These come in three foot lengths and they're only a dollar and five cents. And I always have these on hand in case I need to make any frames or do any projects with them. So I got these cut in order to make a frame for this project and I got some of my favorite wood tint in the color walnut and I gave them a good stain. Now I only stain the sides of the boards that you were gonna see, so I flipped them over and grabbed some large jumbo craft sticks and my glue gun. And what I did was I cut the ends of the jumbo craft sticks, added a little bit of glue to the seams, and then used the jumbo craft sticks to hold the frame together. Next, I took the poster board and put it behind the frame. That way I made sure it fit properly. Next, I took some really pretty ticking stripe ribbon that I had on hand and I cut it just so that it would go over either end of the poster board and I adhered it to the back in order to hold it in place. I set that to the side and I grabbed all of those little leaves that were left over from those Valentine's rose bushes. And I took this little piece of wire, also from Dollar Tree that I had from a previous project, and I cut it to make one solid ring. I took some hot glue and some leaves and began to wrap it all the way around. I wanted to make sure that none of the purple showed through. So once I was done with that, I started to cut all the leaves individually and I folded them in half at their crease and then began cutting smaller leaves from those larger ones. I was going more for a boxwood type shape of leaf than those large pointy floral ones. In order to speed up the process, I stacked some leaves and cut them three at a time. And then when I had enough, I started to hot glue them onto the ring and kept layering them over each other. And it was nice that I actually had more than one color of green leaf because it gave it a little bit of dimension. And I just went around until I was happy with my little mini wreath. Now once that was done, I took the same kind of ribbon that I used for the poster board and I wrapped it on the top of the wreath and I hot glued it onto the poster board as well. Now I put the frame over it just for a second just to make sure that everything laid well and then I added some words that I created on my cameo to the frame. Now the words that I'm actually using mean bless our home in Spanish and I decided to go ahead and do that because guess what there's not a lot of farmhouse signs out there that have Spanish or even a little bit of Spanglish. 
So I thought it would be a great time to share that this is one of the items that I will be adding to my online shop as soon as it opens. I am working really hard behind the scenes to create beautiful decals so that we can be able to create Spanish farmhouse signs. Now I'm gonna have some in English, some in Spanish, and some in Spanglish. So it'll be a lot of fun and I cannot wait to share when I'm gonna actually open it up on my website. Of course, I did notice that when I put the poster back behind the frame, I ended up placing the word bendice a little bit too high, but it's okay, I can always fix that later. Today's video is in collaboration with my dear friend Casey over at Coffee With My Sunshine. She is one of my close YouTube friends and this is actually her series which I am co-hosting today. And once you're done with this video, make sure to check out her channel so that you can see what she created. I'll make sure to link her channel in my description box below. So for my next project, it's gonna be really simple. I'm using this used Candle Yankee container, but I did wanna share this fun process that you can do to change the look of any glass container you have in your home. Okay, so once it's completely cleaned out, I took some washi tape. You guys know I love using this stuff and I began placing it around the entire hurricane. I placed two stripes close together, and then I added two more on the other end. Next, I took some Armor Etch and I began brushing it all over the parts of the glass that were not covered with the tape, leaving either end alone. So I just did the parts in between the tape. And you want to add this on very thick and leave it on for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you are going to wash everything off and you're gonna peel that tape back off. And you have just etched your glass. And just a little disclaimer, that stuff smells pretty strong. You wanna work with it in a ventilated area and you wanna make sure you don't come into contact with it with your bare skin. Follow the directions and you should be fine. Once done, it will look something like this. And while finishing this up, I ran into more trash. This was part of a ribbon roll that needed to go, but I decided to use the end piece so that I could create a really pretty nautical rope coaster for the bottom of that hurricane. Now, you could always do the rope coaster by itself, but I find that having a little piece of cardboard underneath gives it more stability, and it holds a lot better. So I just wrapped it all the way around, all the way till I reached the end. And that was it for this Trash to Treasure. I love how the etching gives it a nice pattern, but it doesn't block any candlelight that might come through. And you can always add a little bit of greenery to the bottom along with a smaller candle and put it on a pedestal and it would be perfect for spring decor. So for the third one, I actually got these little cardboard pieces. They came in between those small glass containers that you can get at Dollar Tree and they were just in the packaging. So I decided that I was going to make myself a Swiss cross sign. If you've seen any farmhouse signs, you have probably come across a Swiss cross sign. The first thing I did was get some black chalk paint and paint them black. I only ended up using one, but I did paint two of them just in case one of them messed up. I got this sign from Dollar Tree. It was actually pretty scuffed up and parts of the paper were actually missing on some of the sides. So I went ahead and grabbed it and gave it a couple of coats of white chalk paint. And since the surface was a little rough, I decided to go ahead and cut some poster board and adhere it to the front of the frame. I used a glue stick for this, but then I ended up using a little bit of hot glue on the edges. Thank you. 
Next, I found more trash. This was contact paper from Dollar Tree that was literally all that I had left. I don't even know why I didn't throw it out, but it was actually a good thing that I didn't because I needed to use it for the edges of this box. I took it, cut it, peeled it, and applied it to all of the borders to make it look like a wood frame. Next, after that was done, I took the cross and these little sticky dots and applied it all over the back of that cross. I wanted the cross to kind of lie a little bit raised from the frame, so that's why I went ahead and used these, but you can always adhere it directly on. And the third trash or treasure was complete. For the final trash or treasure, I had this basket of cork that I had been collecting since last week. I'm just kidding for a couple years now and I cut some of that black poster board that I had again left over and made it into a heart then I placed a border of corks all around it I hot glued the corks to each other as well as onto that black poster board to give it a little bit more sturdiness Once that was done, I took some black ribbon and began to hot glue it all around the center of the corks and around the entire heart. Now I didn't show this part, but I actually added another thinner burlap ribbon over the black to create a nice layer. And after that was done, my heart was complete. And here it is. You can either prep it up like this to showcase the heart, or you can lay it down as a little trinket tray. This is perfect for a little bit of neutral Valentine's decor, or just because. I am so proud of myself. This round of Trash to Treasure, I made everything coordinate and go well together, but I honestly don't think these look like they came out of stuff that would have been otherwise discarded. I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed Trash to Treasure videos, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which one of these transformations was your favorite. Sometimes it takes a little bit of imagination and looking around at what you already have to create something beautiful for your home. Thank you so much, Casey, for having me as your co-host this month. It was a true pleasure. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios.